First off, I want to apologize for the lack of videos over the last week and a half. It's just uh, I've been super busy with just life. So that's about it. Uh, we're going to hop into this video. Leave a like down below if you do really enjoy it. Throw a comment down there if you're interested in the topic. And subscribe. Subscribe for more NBA talk. Like, it's stuff. You know what I mean? So the Los Angeles Clippers have been playing very well. And they're right now at a franchise best record of 7-1. Putting them alone atop the Western Conference. Second of all, Chris... Paul and Blake Griffin noted during the game about how much fun they're having, largely because of a defense that continues to destroy every opponent they go against, okay? And also, Doc Rivers, my man, he even said that he told one of his former Boston players, Brian Scalabrine, that he's starting to notice the similarity between this Clippers squad and his old Celtics team that won the championship in 2008. That's very good. That's a very good compliment from Doc Rivers, who won a championship in 08 with the Boston Celtics and went back in 2010 with the Boston Celtics. So that's pretty good to hear. That's something good to hear. He also said that the first lineup, like the first team lineup, has the same spirit as those guys as the first team lineup for the Boston Celtics. They're just playing with this really no nonsense. They're getting along. They're understanding their roles. They're buying into the system. They can argue and laugh two minutes later, but they are super serious. But they're keeping a good spirit. They also, uh, he also noted, Doc Rivers that Griffin and Paul both have started putting super emphasis on in their defense in the offseason and have been just doing an amazing job on putting defense as a priority. And right now, their defensive efficiency, they're only letting, on 100 possessions, they're only allowing the other team to score 89 points to be the number one in the league. And they also have a 79 defensive rebounding rating. They're just killing it. They're the number one defensive team in the league right now. And their second unit is just, they're just killing it. They have Raymond Felton, who over here in this article, they say that he's just going out there. Raymond Felton is just going out there, dogging the ball, just hustling on defense. The second unit is hustling. JJ Reddick's playing well. The whole team is just playing very well as a team right now. And it's right now showing signs that this is a very good team that has the potential to maybe make a run into the playoffs. And if they continue playing like this, showing this impressive defensive mentality team that they didn't weren't before while they used to be this very offensive orientated team with Blake Griffin and Chris Paul but now that Blake and Chris are putting focus on defense while also putting focus on the offense and also having such a defensive freak in DeAndre Jordan it's all coming together and with the whole team buying into this defensive mentality I could see great things with this team maybe making a run for the finals maybe contending this year maybe going against Cleveland and losing because we all know Cleveland's going to win this year I'm just cheering for Cleveland and I really think that LeBron's just going to go god mode and win these next couple years may pull a three-peat he's going to do something great and I'm very I feel that but back to this is that the Clippers have this chance to maybe make a run they maybe this is their year maybe they're missing one or two pieces they can make a trade during the season but right now they're playing great and their chemistry is good and everybody is trying to win games and I think that's a good thing to see so tell me down below what you guys think about this squad what you think this defensive mentality is going to be like and not defensive mentality is going to be like or how what do you think of the squad right now and what do you think expectation wise is going to happen in the future with this team do you think they're going to make a run do you think they're just going to this is just a fluke and they're just going to die out later in the season just drop they're just winning games just by accident because they're on just a hot streak so tell me down below guys i'm very interested to hear your thoughts and comments as always guys i hope you guys have a great day because i know i will Till next time guys peace out